I think that if you're looking for your child to be an individual and to be loved, cared for, and nurtured, this is the school for you. We are pretty big into routines to kind of help build that autonomy and self-drive and then they can kind of decide what they're interested in for the day. We're starting to see a lot of children aren't as exposed to being outside and that autonomy. So you start to see kids in a different light when you put them in a different experience. So much of inside is controlled, whereas outside is so unpredictable. With kindergarten, we don't put children at desks all day. These kids aren't meant to do that. We are very closely aligned with their development and what's appropriate. We are listening to them. We are engaging with them. They are part of the learning process. Our academic portion, we do have things and goals that we have in mind, but they're all catered to the individual. So we really want to see what they're interested in and then how can we support their interests. The Reggio approach is just one of the philosophies that we pull from. We observe the kids to see what they're interested in and we let them learn through their own pace independently, giving them ownership to take control of what they're going to learn about because when they're interested in something, they're more bound to learn about it and sit through an activity so that they become more curious about the world around them. We'll set up provocations for them and we can integrate math and literacy as well and give them the right vocabulary to figure out how to work through a social situation and making them more independent through play. Getting kids to learn math is actually fun. I mean, we work it into their play. They build this block tower out of magnet tiles. Oh, how many magnet tiles did you just use to build that tower? How many more can you add? The children this age really need that time to explore. We have so many options being on this campus. We are allowed to go to this wonderful library and they can check out these great nonfiction books about what their interests are. They get exposed to music. Spanish. Obviously they play outdoors. All the questioning and discovery that happens when you're outside just playing. But they also have PE. Sometimes the senior school kids come down and interact with them. So having that one campus is so much fun for them to be here and be exposed to all of these things. We love each and every one of these kids that come through. We are famous for hugs. It's just such a fun, happy place to be.